This is Dormouse 03, continuing my Max Payne 3 old school walkthrough, and this is chapter 12. Uh, so you start off with a lot of exposition here. This is a pretty plot heavy chapter, and so this is the first your first encounter with guys, and so um, <laughs> you have this little silenced pistol, and you don't have a whole lot of bullets at this point, so you want to use them kind of sparingly here to take out these guys and this chapter is is pretty fun um, there are a couple of spots in it that will be <laughs> will test your patience at, and or your skill but uh, for the most part it, it's a pretty pretty interesting and fun little level so uh, You'll notice right there uh, something that happened to me that I've noticed happens throughout this uh, playthrough. And I don't know if it's because of uh, the difficulty isn't the hardest uh, difficulty as far as bullet damage and whatnot. Um, or if it's because of some kind of glitch or just the way that it's designed with the mechanics. But sometimes when you're in bullet time you'll get grazed like uh, it just happened to me then and not take any damage so I'm not gonna argue with it uh, I'll take it <laughs> um, but uh, and maybe they'll fix it with a patch later and uh, <laughs> hopefully you will have already played through it if they do that but uh, just I guess take what you can get if you can uh, manage to not get hit by a grazed bullet <laughs> And take damage from it while you're in bullet time then fantastic so uh, anyway this section right here uh, you want to be quick with taking care of these guys because they can get in all uh, all around this little area here pretty quickly and if you don't deal with them they can cause trouble for you uh, just because they kind of have you um, surrounded by multiple angles if you let them so uh, a good spot is to get sort of right over here and kill people as they're going through that door. So that works. And uh, just be, be quick with them. Uh, I try not to use bullet time too much right here uh, because as long as you as you pull the trigger while they're in the in the general vicinity <laughs> of where the gun is except you know when you shoot at them like that after they've walked by it's usually not effective um, but as long as you can put your target on them and, and kill them you'll be okay but uh, the the biggest concern at this moment is bullets uh, so I don't have very many bullets in this gun because I've been sort of <laughs> not uh, not conserving my ammo too well so you can probably sit in this spot and kill most of these guys uh, if you have enough bullets to do so I, ha I didn't do great uh, with my bullet conservation uh, just then so what I'm going to end up having to do is push forward a little bit in order to pick up some ammunition but it works out all right because at this point people are, have stopped kind of rushing and so I'm able to to move up here and take some of them out so uh, I picked up one of the the guns with a flashlight on it which I don't particularly love uh, just because I feel like it makes me more noticeable so this is not great cover right here <laughs> because as you can see it's it's getting destroyed <laughs> so uh, probably not the best spot right there but luckily for me there was only that one guy left and I believe there's one more sitting in cover right over there but uh, I can't see him and I can't get a good angle on him so I'm gonna go I hope what I'm gonna do right now is yep go around this way through this door and try to hit that explosive barrel so you do want to be careful here because sometimes they will just like that rush you around that corner so be careful as you're coming out this way uh, and then what I'm going to do right now is try to hit this little um, yellow barrel here and that will take care of Mr. 
hide and go seek <laughs> in a nice way. So that's fun. And now there's just one more guy through that door frame. And I'm going to try to get him. At one thing that <laughs> really is kind of annoying is that they sit so long in cover. It's like, come on, man. Do something so that I can shoot you. And uh, a lot of times they do force you to move a little bit in order to, to get them to move out of cover. So, In any case, that's a fairly manageable little room as long as you're patient. And uh, I'm fairly uh, tentative here in this chapter just because I know that they have really powerful guns. And you just... There's not a lot of room for mistakes. So, I play pretty cautiously. Uh, you might not uh, enjoy being as cautious as, as I am uh, during this chapter, but uh, it's the way that I got through it, and I would much rather be cautious and play through it once than to go in guns blazing and have to uh, play a section multiple times. So... I'm gonna keep going here. There was a grenade launcher there at the beginning after the first two guys that you killed. And that could be helpful in those rooms, but I don't know. I found the grenade launcher is a little unwieldy <laughs> to manage, so I, I didn't I didn't pick it up and use it right there. So uh, if you are so inclined, you could probably use it to good effects. Uh, and right here, you want to be careful. Um, a good way that I found of dealing with these guys was to <laughs> attempt to blind fire them, you know. Sometimes my execution is not as good as my planning. But, uh, <laughs> so there are several guys here and you, you want to be careful with them because, uh, over to my left, there's a guy through that, uh, corridor and across the way with a light machine gun and... He will rip you a new one, and you will be dead so quick, uh, and back to the beginning of this little section. Luckily, it's not, it's not too long. Uh, there aren't that many guys, and so uh, it's not super frustrating. But there he is, and yep, <laughs> I think he got one bullet in me, and over half of my life is gone. And I may have had a slight bit of damage before, but I think one bullet, like one just grazing you is h half your life uh so be careful of him don't uh forget that he's there like i did so then there are a couple of guys across this way and they also have i think that guy also has a, an lmg so i wait for him to reload <laughs> and then take him out and look at that look at that uh i was talking about in an earlier video <laughs> about how freaking frustrating it is when um someone is dying and they continue shooting as they're as they're dead and that was an example of it just then uh he he was dead and he was falling over but his finger was still on the trigger and he was he was shooting me so Anyway, uh, after you clear out all those guys, you still want to be cautious because as soon as you jump down into this pit right there, two more guys are going to come out, one on the left and one in the uh, right-hand doorway. So I went ahead and took a painkiller because I knew that I may get unlucky and, <laughs> uh, and, have, to and have to start the section over if... Uh, if a stray bullet caught me so I, I didn't want to risk that and right now I was like seeing what was in this closet and it turns out it's a wall so <laughs> anyway uh, I'm sort of like I don't want to jump down in there I don't want to do it uh, and right here I don't know if those guys over there have spawned but I didn't want to risk blowing up those containers because I was going to try to uh to make to blow them up to take care of the three guys that are going to be in that hallway, but uh, it doesn't really work out for me. Um, I just end up shooting them in the faces. So uh, 
Anyway, <laughs> I was really avoiding jumping down in this pit. Uh, I was doing anything but going right here because I, I really uh, didn't want to fight these guys. But because uh, I knew I was going to be super exposed. And so there's one. The other guy goes around the corner. I take off bullet time real quick to save it until he jump pops back out. And then I put it back on. So be careful of those guys. Um, they will light you up quick. And then I know there's another dude who comes out right there, but he won't jump out until you're walking in that direction. So I was going to try to get him from downstairs. I was going to try to get him right then, but he hasn't come out yet. And so uh, I'm like, all right, forget that then. I'll go pick up some ammo. <laughs> Fine. If you don't want to come try to shoot me yet, Fine. Uh, but as soon as you get out of this area and start going across, he will he'll, he will jump out. So there he is. Uh, so be careful <laughs> of, and watch out for him. And there I go, falling back down into the hole. Good job. So uh, when you walk out into this area, there's going to be three eyes. So be careful. I immediately took cover. And then there's a bunch of explosive barrels behind them. And I was going to try to shoot one. But they're, they're in the way. <laughs> Their bodies are in the way. So what I end up doing, I do believe, is just blind firing them all. <laughs> and don't worry about using up your bullets right here because uh, in a second you will uh, lose all your weapons. Which sucks. But um, I didn't remember that at that moment. And so I probably would, if I had remembered that, I would have just blind fired them to death but uh let's look at all those barrels i i tried to hit them but uh the guy's heads were in the way so to find a way whatever um, you do have to make them explode though in order to get on to the next section so uh yeah sometimes the best laid plans just just don't work out uh is the moral to that story and now i'm doing something that's completely unnecessary uh, because I do believe it takes all of your uh, weapons off of you and leaves you with a set amount of painkillers at this next area. So um, I'm pretty sure I had I knew this thing three painkillers right now. And uh, I'll see in the next video what I start off with. But uh, I do I, I believe that it takes all your painkillers off of you um, and, and takes all your weapons off of you for sure. Uh, for the very next section, so don't worry about picking up the ammo um, or trading out your guns right there because uh, annoyingly you will not be able to use them in this next part. So you're going to have a little story, and uh, that which I will cut out, and then I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Hope it's helpful.